Hey guys, whilst I'm on Christmas break, I figured I'd go ahead and make another system test since it's been a little while. Just a fair warning, not much has changed in the system, however there are a few additions that uh, I think would definitely make this video a lot more interesting. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we've got these three key switches installed to the safe path, which as you can see they're painted horribly. Uh, that's my painting skills. Um, and then we've stuck labels on them. They were originally Simplex test stations, but since we have billions of them, literally, um, three were decided to be sacrificed for this project. So, how this works is the key switches close the contacts for on their, their respectable terminal blocks, which in turn sets off one of the tones in the panel. So, we'll go ahead and let you hear them. So the audio test one, I'll go ahead and keep the key switch closed. Keeping the circuit closed or the switch on would just allow the system to keep looping the um, alarms or actually leave that on. and it goes back to normal. Go ahead and do evacuation. May I have your attention please? The local evacuation system has reported an emergency. Please evacuate to your assigned rally point immediately. I kinda like that one. So we've got the all clear. And of course, we've still got the wonderful microphone. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Hands down, my favorite feature of this thing. <laughs> um, and in response to many, many, many of y'all's questions regarding um, this noise that's coming out of the panel, in the last video, it was the Wheelock mechanical horn. Um, that is the tone generator, built-in tone generator. This You could uh, change them based on the three dip switches on the top that T1, 2, and 3. And this is literally a Wheelock MT tone generator built into the panel. Uh, I'm pretty sure I went over this on the last system test, but I, like I said, I still got a bunch of questions about it, so I figured I'd go over it again. This is set on slow whoop right now, obviously as you can hear it. Uh, it's very quiet. It Like I said, it's just the tone generator built in. Um, so it's nothing bad. I, I don't get why it makes that noise, but it's kind of cool, I guess. I'll go ahead and let you hear it. And this is absolutely no affiliation with the fire alarm tones or um, the other alerts on here. Uh, because those are not changeable, unfortunately. Especially that long, continuous tone for the test and all cleared alarms are very is very annoying. But it is what it is. I'll live. So that is that. The pull stations are still all the same. Um, and yeah. So I guess we'll go ahead and test the smoke detector today instead of the pull station first, just because I don't think I've done that yet. Make sure that gets a good... There we go. And it goes into um, verification. You gotta keep spraying it. There we go. May I have your attention, please? A fire alarm has been reported in the building. 
And of course, all of the strobes are in sync with the um, wheel lock sync on the MS-10ED. Pretty cool. We're going to use the newest addition to our system to silence the alarms. This is our new uh, Firelight ANN80 -A uh, Nunciator that goes, of course, right to the MS-10UD. Um, I'm really happy with how this looks and, uh, of course, its functionality. So go ahead and reset it. It looks really strange when it does that for some reason. But hopefully, if the smoke is cleared, it should not go right back off. And then now we'll go ahead and activate the garage system. Or the garage alarm. Now, I'm honestly, I don't know the exact brand or who branded this pole station. DMP or whatever. It, it's, it's very commonly rebranded by different... Um, Companies. This was actually our first, my first, our first pulse station. It was branded Silent Night. I paid like twenty bucks for it. Um, it uses a generic key and everything. Not a, no brand or anything on it. So let's go ahead and pull it. Of course, it's really quiet out here because I don't want neighbors complaining. Can get the, and in case you're wondering, this is not ADA compliant how all this crap's in front of there. Of course, this is beeping again. And the reason this is uh, Ethernet cables because we ran out of fire alarm cable for the ANN80. But pretty sure we'll live. Got the batteries in here, a little bit of crap down there, uh, and then of course all the um, notification appliances and initiating devices. So, let's go ahead and reset it. And I guess we'll, we can go ahead and do one of the pull stations down here. And um, all of them are labeled what zone they are because of the enunciator. Set that. And in case you're wondering, this is the model number. I seem to always forget. A fire alarm has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building. And um, while I wait for this to shut up, I'll go ahead and explain why we have this. Whilst um, we're in school, um, there have been a few alarms that have gone off per se, and the way our, my, our parents reset it was not go into the panel, reset the pull station or whatever has gone off. And um, that's that. Know that it, it, it leads to pulling wires. So this is a very, well investment per se uh 
it tells you exactly what zone goes off and which is why they're all labeled down there. And um, this key switch has been disabled. Uh, you can do that on the um, Firelight panel or the um, MS10UD, which of course, which this is still locked in place. But the biggest reason is the key switch on this is kind of mangled because the last operator, it looked like somebody tried to forcibly open this, so it kind of messed up the key switch. It still works, but you have to fumble with it a lot. Uh, and plus, we don't want, I just don't want to have a key just sitting in here or no key at all to where this thing is completely useless. So we'll go ahead and reset it. Of course, this looks really strange when it resets, like I said. Back to normal. And for whatever, let's, let's do a drill. Push and hold for two seconds. And of course you don't hear anything because this does not activate the fire alarm relay because there is no fire alarm technically. This is a fire drill. If there were a, was a horn hooked up to the knack, it would be sounding, of course, as the strobes are. But like I said, the fire alarm is hooked up to the programmable relay, which in case would be, let's see if you could just cut it off from here. Nope. Go and reset it. The fire alarm re uh, relay understandably does not activate when a drill is um, activated because it could go to a dial or it could go to whatever that that's the reason a drill is being the drill buttons pushed instead of just pulling the fire alarm so they don't have to go through calling the alarm company or what ha what have you uh, so the drill feature unfortunately doesn't work very well in this case but it is what it is um, so I guess that is it I don't think there's much else to show you guys. Um, guess why not? Let's let everyone know that. May I have your attention, please? The building emergency has ended, and all clear has been given. Please resume normal activities. All right, so we are back to normal. Um, if you guys have any questions about the system, how it's set up, how it works, what have you, please uh, be sure to put them in the comments below. Um, if there's something I didn't touch base, of course, uh, let me know, so I'll try to get that in the next system test. I don't know when the next one would be because I don't have any plans for any major redoings of the system just because there's not much to be done to it. Uh, but I figured, like I said, I'd just go ahead and Give you guys a little update on it, how it's doing. But, um, anyhow, thank you guys very much for watching, and that is it.